Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play World of Warcraft. So we are starting out our new Let's Play series, Wrath of the Lich King. And for fun, I got this because it looks so very cold and frosty. Uh, my Hell Reaver, which I got in uh, Outlands, and I got the Transmog uh, Enchantment Effect Gale of uh, Force Striking, which just looks so badass. It's actually a little over the top. Uh, how much it shows. It's really cool. So anyways, let's get started. So let's just have some fun, you. shall we? So uh, we, we originally we did Cataclysm, which wasn't we didn't do the Cataclysm content. We did the vanilla content and then we moved through the Outlands. Now we get to do Fall of the Lich King. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we're, I guess, yeah, so I guess we do that, and then we do Cataclysm, actually, the Cataclysm Zones, and then we go to, uh, Pandaria, so I guess you kind of have to switch around, then, uh, Draenor, and then Legion, and then you just don't use this at all, and then you're in, uh, the other one, but it's kind of, so you're gonna have to go uh, up and down, back and forth kind of thing, I guess, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, yeah. Fall of the Lich King. Spoilers. I didn't know you he uh, had a fall. You restraint when showing your great power to the Scourge. Oh. Why, hello. Mm. You, deserve, we... you deserve a pet. So we go to the docks here, and we're going to sail to Northrend, which is up here on the map. If you're, you're new to World of Warcraft, this is, uh, this is Northrend over here, and this is where we're going to spend uh, our time now, so that's pretty cool. As far as I know, there is a boat that still comes, so we might just have to wait for it. I don't think you have Hello. to teleport or anything have yet. A good one. So a boat still comes. And uh, so we'll wait patiently for that boat, and we'll back a second. Here comes the boat. Whee! A loon be praised. <laughs> this guy's probably like, uh, what's going on over here? <laughs> Okay, there's our boat. And then we can just go ahead and... Uh, oh, yeah, we can do this. We can LARP walk on it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There you go. Okay, we will not LARP. Uh, well, wait, LARP is real life uh, action role play. So that's just the RP in. Sorry. Uh, so this will take us to Northrend. So while we wait here for a second, I thought I'd show you my uh, accomplishments. So... From vanilla to Outlands, we have done 2,800 achievements. Now, I could probably get, you know, one or two more achievements squeezed in there. Uh, but overall, like, we've gotten quite a bit of achievements. We've done all the dungeons. We've done all the heroics. We've done all the raid achievements, basically. The only uh, achievements I haven't done, which I can't even do on this character, for example, for the raids, is I have to equip a uh, legendary bow, which I can't equip, and the uh, glaives, which I also can't equip on this character. So... Those you just can't earn, you know, and I'm sending this to not account wide, but character and ignore this part here. This doesn't really help. So um, I think for, for the fun part of showing you some of the stuff here, uh, the character information is fun. So you can see all the gold we've made. Most ever owned uh, 22. Uh, well, we own right now, I guess, 222,000 gold. How awesome is that? Uh, from just questing alone, uh, quite a bit of that was uh, gotten from there. Yeah, 58,000 gold for questing, which I think we had like 45-ish thousand from uh, 0 to 49 in finishing vanilla. So that was quite a bit. If you do played, actually, we have 12 days total and of playtime, and uh, 10 days and 19 hours of that was at level 49, if you can believe that. So pretty cool. You can see all my kills, 37,000 kills, death 60, almost 20 of those in PvP, <clears throat> 20 actually in dungeons. So yeah, quite a quite a busy time we've been having. So I just thought to show you some of those stats, you know, just sort of a kind of a, a history, a, you know, a marker just to show, you know. So there you go. Welcome to Northern. Now, I thought a long time ago we had a quest that would actually take us to the boat and then to the thing, but I guess not anymore. Well, that's cool. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah, the other guy was probably not flagged for PvP, but we're flagged for PvP. So that's it. So no more. Uh, he probably phased out. So we, we get off the boat here. We can fly Northrend. Uh, you can fly for a very long time. And uh, basically, here we are. So we start here. Now, I don't know if there was a breadcrumb quest that came here. If there is down the road, right, we will you. find it, obviously. Um, this one rides right, to right. Dalaran. So allies of them. And uh, there's already a quest for them. There you go. Hello. 
Good luck, friend. Okay. I think that's it in here yet. The quests will expand as we start doing them. They they got a little bit better with questing uh, in Wrath of Lich King. Or the Alliance. And then, of course, it got really good in Cataclysm and then on. Like, it just got better and better over time. But basically, you, you start out and you got a little few options. It's more like, okay, you can go to this little uh, starting area, this starting area, you know. Kind of did that sort of style, so. There you go. Need help? No, oh, but I hear Be you careful. do. I like that. They always ask if I need help, and yet I'm here to help them. Oh yeah, I changed my kitty to uh, a purplish, reddish kitty now. I just thought I'd change it up a wee bit for uh, the changing of the expansion. So we got Watch this guy over here. Well, there we go. You. And then, yeah, we're gonna go out here. You need something? There you go. And we're good, I think. Yeah, so we need to kill these guys right now. And we need some anti-venom as well. Where is the anti-venom from? Oh, that's over there. Well, we'll kill these guys for now since we're here. And, oh, I forgot to turn on. So I have a logisti uh, logistics, uh, a Logitech keyboard. There you go. That guy just, like, fried that. Uh, I have a Logitech keyboard. I couldn't figure out why I was able to stealth. Um, but basically I had rebooted my computer recently, and if you reboot your computer, um, you lose the ability to basically, uh, to, uh, use some of the, uh, functions. So, what I end up doing is, uh, I have to return on the software, and I can actually turn off the software. Like, I'll right-click it right now, and go to exit, there you go, and the software is not running, but the, the, the soft, like, it still works. What I'm guessing it does is basically uh, the hardware itself um, can store memory into it, but when you reboot your computer, of course, it loses that memory, and I'm guessing that's how it works. So, talk to me, talk to me. So I have an add-on here. I should probably talk about the add-ons quickly. Um, I, it, I just want to play, obviously, but some people are going to ask about the add-ons right away, so it's going to be a little derpy, first beginning episode. Uh, but f f one of the add-ons I have on here is, I'll just go through them. Advanced uh, interface options basically gives you other options that are kind of useless. Most people don't need it. I was just playing around with it. Auctionator uh, has a slightly different auction uh, near uh, basically system lets you sell things and whatnot a little easier and it's just a nice looking Bagnon lets you have the all-in-one inventory which is awesome character achievements lets you have character specific uh, achievements show up which I've already shown you that handy notes I only have installed for Universal Explorer so I have these little dots on the map basically if I go into all the dots I explore that area it just makes it nice and uh, it looks nice, kind of. Uh, just in time shows your dungeon queue. Basically, it'll say how long you've been in queue once it pops. And it'll even show you, like, how many seconds or minutes you have left to accept it before it cancels. Uh, Overachiever shows you, like, suggestions on achievements and things like that you can work on. Um, Pawn basically shows you if gear is worth an upgrade or if maybe it has a better value from the quest item just a vendor. For example, you saw the little symbol on there, the dollar symbol. Postal just redoes the mailbox interface. Silver Dragon just alerts you to rare mobs, though you have to spam a macro in the older content because they don't work automatically like the new ones. A limited map pin distance basically removes the 1,000 yard limit so you can see them quite far away, which is really nice. Wowhead Looter is basically just so I could assist Wowhead uh, farming uh, in-game data so they can put on their website. I use Wowhead all the time. I recommend it to everyone in the world who plays World of Warcraft. I'm sure everyone who's watching this who's played this game for a bit probably have already been to Wowhead more than once. And we could do our part by installing the add-on and feeding them that data so it can help them populate their database. Uh, the character stats page just shows you more detailed information. Basically, you know, like what's your run speed? Things like that. Trade Master, I don't actually really use except 
basically showing up, uh, you know, like lo hovering over something and seeing its value. That thing says it has a huge value. More than likely it doesn't, but I'm just saying, you know, it says auction 7,800. It kind of shows you that kind of stats. Actually, uh, this one would be the one up top. So the, the ones in blue text, the TSM general and TSM auction database, that would be there. The vendor and auction house one would be probably uh, auctionator actually giving that information. And then instant loot, basically I have auto loot on. Uh, if you don't want to hit shift right click to auto loot, basically you'd have instant, you, you'd have your normal like instant loot kind of thing where you'd right click and it just auto loots, right? Instant loot on the other hand does it slightly faster where the interface hardly shows up, makes it quicker so you can just basically loot a lot easier without you know going through all the pain and suffering of it. So there you go. Hopefully that was quick enough and a good enough explanation of what's going on here. So here is the Annie, Annie Venom, and then I have something down here as well. So yeah, I wanted to explain that really quickly to people because there's people who will ask. And if you have a questions on any of them, like what do you do exactly with this or whatever, let me know and I'll do Please the best to, to explain it for you because, uh, you know, that's kind of what I want people to, uh, you know, I want them to be comfortable on that, you know, understand what's happening, things like that. So I don't want people to be lost and say, you know, not sure why I would have one mod or the other, you know, and or add on. What can sorry. I do for you? Go with honor, friend. Well met for the Alliance. Okay, so let's do this. Not forgotten us. So we're gonna go over. Oh, here we go. Oh, we gotta grab these guys. Now you, because of what's up to you, you could slay them up there, or you could just use this net. The net's a little long, so you might just end up wanting to slay them anyways. Did it actually not bring the the guy down? I don't even think it brought the guy down. I wanted. This takes way too long, unfortunately. Oh! He fell over here. I didn't realize that. I was like, where did that guy go? There we go. So let's use that net again. There we go. And yes, I love my cat mode. That's the, the mode I play usually, so. I'll just do some like this, just because it's easier to deal with. It should heal up. Okay. This guy's smarter too, he's doing it that way. The other one in for the venom. See you around. And then we got this guy to hand in over here. I'm already loving this. Like how how easy, not easy, you but did. how like close these quests are and stuff. Things will be a bit easier. We got better gear over time. We fill in the nook and crannies. Overall, your most of your gear will be in like the 58, 59 range. I would say actually 57, 58. 59 was really rare. That was a dungeon uh, purple, which I was uh, lucky, and it was an event time at that time. I got this during an event as well. It was the World of Warcraft, uh, the Karax, Karath, whatever, and uh, there was a quest at the beginning, and it gave you this pole arm, which was actually really badass. So, um, basically, it was more like pure luck on that. So, oh, got a call coming in. Okay, let's set these explosives down. I got distracted there with work stuff. So, what were we doing here, anyways? I know we were putting explosives down, and yeah, okay, explosives, yeah. So do we set them in any hole, or was it in this spot here? I don't know. Let's try right here. Oh, apparently any hole. And then what's over here? Cultus. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
we got that done. Awesome. And then over here is our next spot. We have to put the explosions down. I love the effect. We have this uh, enchant on our weapon, I guess. The uh, What's the actual enchant I have on there? <laughs> Does it not... Oh, maybe Gale Force Striking is the enchant I have on there? Oh, okay, so it's Winter Grass that gives you the cool effect. Sorry, that's the illusion. Uh, Gale Force Striking is... Oh, my mistake. I'm an idiot. Is just the actual enchant. But that one basically increases your attack power by about uh, 15 or so when it triggers. But it has a cool effect when you're flying away, obviously, so... Okay, can we put you in that one? There you go. And then there's other quests over there, but we'll get to them eventually. Oh, getting too close to those guys might have been a mistake. Now they're going to be all upset with me. Okay, and then we got a quest over here. Hello. Have a good one. And then we got Handon over here. We got quests everywhere, apparently. I like this one. Hello. You need something? See you around. And then there's one inside of there, apparently. Quests are starting to open up. Hey! Alrighty then. A lot of them are go to this NPC first kind of quest though, I notice. Hi, how are you? Okay. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Blessings of King's honor, friend. Um, the trinket? Yeah, that's not good, unfortunately. I wish we had an upgraded trinket. I've been using the same one forever, but our trinket's pretty badass, so. Be kind. This is how it is. Okay. Yeah, I like to get stuck in all the nooks and crannies of everything, basically. Good there we go. Are we good now? Okay, we got a cultist in the kitchen defeat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the cultist we gotta do. I think you just hit this and you can see them, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, we're going around and you can identify the cultist by that. Greetings. Light bless you. Ah. Even though they can see, you can stealth and uh, get out of it. There you go. Cults in the kitchen done. There's one down here too, I believe. Yeah, here he is. What can I do for you? <laughs> okay. And then in the jail. Arthur's give you strength, huh? Think he's gonna give you strength, buddy. Okay. Got that one done. Now, is this the one inside or the top here? No, that's inside, I guess. I tried to be all smart and kind of sneak in there. I was like, no. The Naru have not forgotten us. There you go. We got one of eight, it looks like. Yeah, one of eight done. <laughs> okay, so what do we have now, my friends? We got quests everywhere, obviously. I guess this one leads you to all the different hubs and stuff like that at the point, but we'll work on the ones close by first and go from there. 
So we have this little farm we have to help out. So let's do that. What is the quest we have to do here first? Oh, we have to go in the mines. Oh. I was kind of close to him, but I thought we were still good. Apparently not. Healing effects reduced by his so if you want to heal properly. Might want to wait on that. There you go. You guys do pretty good damage to me, damn. Yeah, because of scaling and things like that over the years, not everything is quite stable, like HP-wise, things like that. So some things do more damage than they should. Oh, I forgot. We got new ore. Cobalt. I should look for all the training of the mining and uh, herbing and all that soon, too. I'm excited by that new ore. It's gray, though. It might still let us mine it. I don't know if it will, though. Yeah, it does. Will it give us the actual ore? Yeah. Just one, though. Oh, it has okay value to it. But we have to go and learn the mining to be able to actually go and mine it correctly, so. And of course level it up and stuff like that. So, what do we have here? We're getting out of here. I think we go back in here to be honest again. Yeah, when you run out of caves or indoor structures and try to like, use your flight right away, it likes to derp up. It's harder you? on druids for their instant uh, flight one. form because it's good like you're not to used you. to it. And it's just like, oh, you want to fly it right away, but it's like, no, 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 no. There you go. We gotta kill 14 of those guys. And we also have to burn a bunch of grain down. So this is the grain here. Let's kill first, because well, I just want to kill first. Okay. There's another dude here. There's lots of grain near him. Okay, is that guy actually after me or no? He's just. I guess this is like. his little uh, path thing there. It's like he literally looked like he was coming after me, so. It's quite scary. else around here we need? Oh yeah, we need something over there. I think it's like a book or something, actually. Or is it a bell? I forget. <laughs> Field, factories, and workshop. Reference material. Okay, I guess that's that one. It shows that it's over here somewhere. I guess in here. Oh, here it is. Cool, we got that. Okay, who is next to get my wrath? We can take these guys. I don't want to get the grain as well. But I do that well. Yeah, there you go. My silk didn't work there. I have a god on there, so I was doing damage over time. So I can cure um, curses and poison. So yeah, I'm removing all curses and poison effects with this ability, but I don't have the ability to deal with diseases, for example, or magic effects, things like that, which there's quite a few other effects, but it's still nice uh, to have that ability. I use it from time to time. Not like those abilities are ever really gonna kill me, to be fair, but oh, I didn't even see there. Probably more useful for like boss or something later on who might do like a bunch of stacks of a certain thing, you know, might help you there.
Okay. Can I help you? Looks like I'm See helping you, you today. Hello. Have a good one. There we go. Good day to you. Yeah, things can automatically turn into blue or even purple. Bit rare, but uh, item level's gonna be still the same that I'm using, so it's not like we're See getting that. an increase really. Okay, so my guy's gonna die, so we're good. So what is this? Harvester Oh okay, you gotta collect these and I think I oh, defeat it. Okay, so you gotta do it once it dies, okay. I wonder if you have to click it or yeah, I hate that. Sometimes you don't have to, sometimes you do. It's just one of those things that I wish Blizzard smoothing out so it didn't matter. Blizzard has that the habit of they'll have some uh, some quests that don't need that. Other quests you do need to click the target. You know, like it's smart enough to just uh, pick the closest one nearby. <laughs> Okay. How are you? Safe travels. Look at that. Our rep is uh, friendly now with him. Yeah, so we're going to learn all these new... Uh, I guess we're going to learn these over our time. So we got the Argent Crusade, which is shared, actually. Uh, the Kirin Tor, Knights of the Umbon, uh Ebon Blade, and the Warmest Accord. So some of these I might have just gotten from... They might be in the main world or another world kind of thing. I've just talked to them. So some of them are shared in that way. But So we got a number one over here. That sounds dirty. Or cart release. Ah, okay. So we have to release an ore cart. The thing is, on that ore cart, here it is. I think you need a key, yeah. So you have to kill the captain, I think it was. There we go. Oh. Thought maybe we got away from not aggroing anyone, but apparently I, I'm wrong. There we go. Run away. Anything else that looks interesting here? I don't think so. Okay. You need something for the alliance. Got our delivery in here. How are you? Off with you. And then we got our one over here. Hey there. Safe travels. And then we got the one inside, I guess. Is that downstairs? Yeah. Wee. Oops. Hello. Good day, sir. Have a good one. Good day to you. See you later. Okay. Kind of throwing us everywhere. This one has uh, oh, the wine. Yeah, it's in the water, I think, over here. Was that or in a shark? No, maybe there's sharks around. Yeah, there's sharks around for sure. Haha, I got it before you got me. Oh, the poor dolphin sounds though. That's pretty horrifying sounding. Okay. We can go back here and hand that puppy in. You need something? See you around. OK. 
Okay, well, we're gonna talk to the deserter in the keep. Good day to you. Have a good one. A lot of running around quests, huh? <laughs> I love it. Especially with the instant flight and all that, you know, makes life a little easier on that sense, so. Hello. Where did the cowards and fool one take us? Be to northern. Oh, okay. Greetings. See you later. See you later. I think this is the last one for this. So, oh, you have to ring the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like not all the way upstairs, I didn't think. I thought it was like part way. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, this is like the old Warcraft, you know, where you ring the bell. Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. Arm yourself. You need something? And uh yes, anything interesting? Nah. Be careful. Awesome. And then yeah, basically we got quests that take us everywhere. This is awesome. Look at all the quests around here. So I think we'll cut it there. I think that's a good uh, little start to this episode. And, uh, yeah, the episodes, I always aim for around 30 minutes. It doesn't matter. You know, if I feel like we're in the middle of something, you know, it might be 35 or 40 minutes. It doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I think that's a good start to this episode. And, uh, yeah, we'll continue from here. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.